So Lupita, a film about doppelgangers, how did you access your, your darker side and this inner second person? Well, first of all, I think a film is great permission to do that. You know, it was a requirement that I go there. Uh, and it's, it's really about befriending the darkness in all of us, you know, and being patient enough to coax it out to make use of it. I think in society, we often just suppress that side. It's unacceptable. You know, we, we ignore it. And that's how it ends up growing an ugly head and becoming destruction that we see in the world. Is it kind of like a, a dark side to maybe that American dream of the all-American family going on a holiday and having a great time? Yeah, I mean, you know, for great privilege comes great cost, you know, and I think that's what this film is exploring it's in some on some levels, that in order to have that cell phone, you know, there's certain uh, people who are compromised, you know, and, uh, yeah, being aware of that duality in life that is very much a part of the human experience. How did you access that voice? That was amazing. I'm guessing it was you and not, you know, effects. No, it was me. And it was inspired by spasmodic dysphonia, which is a condition that is brought about by, oftentimes by trauma, sometimes emotional, sometimes physical, sometimes just inexplicable, where uh, the vocal folds begin to spasm um, involuntarily, creating this irregular flow of air and uh, yeah, creating that kind of jagged speaking voice. And uh, I, I was inspired by that and then built from there. The script had mentioned that she had, a, she had not spoken for a long time. Mm. So uh, I was a creative license to, 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 to do that. And it was really, it was, a, it was so much fun to have that kind of uh, creative task, you know. And I worked with my ENT and a vocal therapist and, a, and an accent coach all at once to you know, make sure that I could do it safely. Well, it was powerful. Thank you. Uh, tell me about working with Jordan Peele as your director. Oh, Jordan, he's amazing. And it had been a dream, of, a very short-lived dream with, uh, from watching Get Out to work with him as a director. And uh, my dream came true way sooner than I could have expected it to. Um, and he is just such a compassionate, gentle, intelligent, and yet egoless um, artist, you know. And he was very collaborative. From the very start, once he'd given me the role, he spoke to me as though I was the expert on the people that he had created, you know. And to hear him ask questions of me way before I was even ready to answer them, but with full confidence that I would come to, to, to be the authority on these two women was just so encouraging. And, you know, that kind of um, uh, projection of, of trust and respect only breeds trust and respect and creativity. So I really feel like I grew exponentially as an artist because of his directing. We've already seen you in so many different roles in your career so far. Was it a game changer in 2013 when you got that Oscar? Did you suddenly get offered completely different roles? Well, that film, 12 Years a Slave, was my first film. So my career has been built off of that. What a start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's fantastic seeing you in this and how different to the Marvel Cinematic Universe you were part of with Winston before. <laughs> right, yeah. This is a different world, a diff very different world, uh, a much darker world. Um, and it was fun to be able to go from that to, to, to from Black Panther to this with Winston because we have a long history as friends. We went to drama school together. So we speak the same creative language uh, and um, we have uh, trust for each other, in each other as friends as well as uh, artists. And we could really support the bold choices each one of us was making and be there for each other. And it was nice to have that comfort, you know. Being in Jordan Peele's sophomore film is, is no small thing, you know. It's a lot of pressure. And uh, he was able to ease that for me just by being a familiar face and, and uh, such a, a, a passionate support system.